When I was little, I used to be really critical of one of my mom's driving habits. And that was that she never used the horn. I didn't figure out why she never did until I started driving. Here's what happened. We were at Outback Steakhouse. I think it was for my grandma's birthday or something like that. What happened was we were parked in a parking lot and this guy pulls up and starts like, he starts driving like towards me really fast. And I just lay on the horn, let this guy know, like, you know, someone's here. And it doesn't hit me until immediately after that he was parking on the set of parking spots that were across the aisle from where I was. And so that really set in my mind like, oh, wait a minute, that's why people hesitate to use their horn. They might not actually need to. It might not be as serious as things pan out. I guess the moral of that story is that unless you're like 100% sure about how something works, or unless you've like experienced it yourself, like driving, don't be judgmental of other people's intentions or actions while they're doing that thing because it might not be what it seems, and it might be a little bit more complex than it seems. I'm making a time lapse of the uh, sun sunset. So. Hey, I remember you. You're that person from that place where we did the thing. You know, that one thing in that one place. I remember you. How do you even start a video? Honestly, I'm not fully certain. Why don't we jump right in? So, today started off pretty okay. I woke up at like 11 o'clock. Decided that it was probably time to start cleaning my room because this place is starting to become a horrendous wreck. I just don't want that to be a thing anymore. Kind of in the middle of the cleaning process right now, but you can, if you look behind me here, you can see the floor is a little bit more clean. Yesterday I went out, actually it was both yesterday and the day before, I went out to Alexandria, Virginia, and I got some test footage. Now I'm waiting till today to tell you about it because I wanted to make sure that I actually uploaded the video that I got from that, from that day. Um, because I know it seems to be a habit of mine to constantly talk about things that either never come out or things that I don't finish, so I wanted to make certain that this was something that I actually finished. I'm here just on the outskirts of Bellhaven Park, and I'm making a time lapse with this new camera, new old camera that I got, Canon PowerShot. I think it's like SD 1100, one of the earlier models of the uh, the pan the Canon Power Shot, the Canon Power Shot Elf series. Been playing around with it just a little bit. I probably look ridiculous to all the people that are passing by at that intersection, but that's okay. I'm having a good time, and that's you know if other people don't enjoy, if other people aren't supportive of the fact that I'm having a good time and I'm not hurting anyone, then they're probably the ones with the problem. So apparently there's a massive fire happening in DC right now. These people behind me are very loud. I could see the smoke from the highway over here approaching Alexandria. So we're gonna travel to the edge of the water down here under the Wilson Bridge and see what's going on, see if we can see anything. I hope there's not like, I mean, it's, it's horrible that there's a fire in the first place, but I really hope it's nothing like important which is like the most shallow thing I could possibly say about it, but I mean, I'm sure you know what I mean. I remember coming here for the first time. It was quite the magical experience. I think I came down here the first time the weekend that I got my learner's permit for driving. It was a little over a year ago now. It's a lot of good memories. I have a video about that on my Vidly account, which I'll link in the description. 
which has a lot of really old vlogs on it that I used to make. And you're gonna notice that a lot of them are a lot better than these, and that's because different time frames in my life allow for me to make better content sometimes. And right now I'm in a place that's just kind of, these are the, the videos that I'm making are the way that I want to make them right now. So. So I'm starting to see, you can kind of see the smoke there through that pillar, which I can't see if I'm pointing at it or not. So I found the source of that, well, I didn't find the source of it, but the fire was coming from the neighborhood that's across the river um, behind I-290, 295? Yeah, that's 295. So, that sucks. That really sucks. I guess that's what the fire truck I saw earlier was for. Sorry the angles tend to be like down here, but when you're filming in public, it's really awkward to hold the camera way over here. So, you know. That's a thing. Before the sun goes down, I'm gonna take this thing and we're gonna try to walk around the streets of Alexandria. Hopefully we can do that before the sun goes down, like I said, but right now it's about 7.14 and the sun goes down somewhere around 8.30. So, don't have a whole lot of time. keep trying to leave but I, it's just there's so many good time lapses around here it's a lot easier to make a vlog if you live in a city because at least you can make it look good if you live like I live in a more suburban type of place and it's really hard to make a video look good when that's what you have to work with but when you have something like this to work with it makes things a lot easier. I guess that's why I come out here. That's why this is such a repetitive theme. Because this is something that I know will produce a really nice looking video. And the only weight that's left at that point is on me to say or do something that makes it complete, that'll bring it up to 100%. A guy just rode his bike past me and flicked me off. So here's, here's kind of how that happened. I was up there making the time lapse on the bridge and he rode his bike past me. I came down here to get a time lapse of this road and he was stopped here, like right over there. Like right there. And I didn't I didn't bother him, I didn't pay attention to him. And that was that. And then the dude went from there all the way up to right about there. And then he stopped again. And on his way up there, he spat on the road on like the sidewalk in my direction which considering that there's literally like 359 other degrees to spit at i would think that that was a subtle diss as the kids say and then he looked at i look over and i guess he was looking right at me and i thought maybe he was trying to get my attention but i still didn't want to bother him so I turn back around to look at my time lapse, and next thing I know, this dude comes down here on his bike, and he flips me off. If he was trying to get my attention, and he was going in that direction anyway, then why didn't he just go downhill and stop here to do it? I, I'm thinking too hard about it. I tend to do that. I should, I should probably just... I'm going to my car now. This place is... I don't remember this place feeling so sketchy the last time I was here. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I missed coming here. I always end up having a good time. Coming out here alone, getting this test footage, doing stuff, it's, it's a really good opportunity to have like introspective moments. And I don't really know why. I'm not sure why being out and about in a busy place like this can make one feel so within themselves. It's, it's kind of weird, almost counterintuitive, but it works. Going back to the car and we're gonna go home. 
And so yeah, you can check that out. It's on my tech-related YouTube channel, uh, which I believe is linked in the sidebar of this channel. Test footage is a great thing because not many people do it, so there's some demand for it. If there's supply that reaches the demand, then that's like a, that's just a, a formula for success right there, right? So, uh, oh, I did the dishes earlier and I got it on film. It's time to do the dishes. I put off doing the dishes way too long. I'm not gonna. I'm obviously I'm not gonna show you the the pile of them over here, because. That would make me look worse than I probably already do. I will say that I've pretty much put off doing everything for too long now. And I just now chose today to finally start putting everything back together. I just finished up getting things prepared for System Test 21. That should be pretty fun, pretty exciting. I'm excited for it because it's finally going to be like... Because it's finally going to be some devices that I haven't used before. So, uh, I was on the internet last night. Big surprise. I was watching this video, it was a live stream of the Falcon Heavy, that sort of spacecraft, sort of spacecraft, it is a spacecraft. I've never watched a rocket launch live before, but that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was pretty interesting. I mean, what else am I supposed to describe? Like, I, it's it's literal rocket science, you know, it's, it's the hardest thing out there, apparently. But like getting to see the process behind that and you know, the amount of, what do I, what, how do I put it? Like the amount of explosion that has to happen to make that thing go up, it's pretty cool. So my subscriber count has been very slowly growing ever since I introduced the, uh, the other channel to this one. We talked about that a little while ago. And I continuously, I think, I think since I got this camera, I said three times or so that I'm gonna start making daily vlogs again. I'm starting to get the picture that the reality of that just... It's not really all that logistically possible. I don't want to say that I was lying. Because I really do want to make a daily vlogging series. But the reality behind that is that I just... I can't. That's pretty hard to admit. I'm thinking about it in terms of... Would I rather make, like, a really crappy video every day where it's like, you can obviously see that I'm forcing myself to say or do something stupid just to have a video to put out, or would I rather, like, say, once a week have a decent video where I have plenty of footage to pick from and I have plenty of things to talk about that I've thought of over the course of the past week. I'd much rather have that. And, and you know, I'm not going to call it a weekly vlog because I'll probably upload more than once a week sometimes. So it's, the schedule right now is at least once a week, at least. Because that's, I know that that's something that I can keep to. Especially recently, I've had a lot of sort of interesting things happen to me recently that might be some somewhat interesting stories to talk about in the videos. So. For the past couple of months now, I've been looking for clementines. They're like, you know, the tiny oranges. They're like mandarins, but they're a little bit different. And for the longest time, I couldn't find them, like, at all. Like, nobody had them. Walmart, Harris Teeter, Safe, what, they're, they're nowhere. And then finally, one day, we go to Walmart, and they just pop up there in the same place that the mandarins used to be. And oh my gosh, clementines are probably the best fruit on the entire planet. Like, if you don't... If you don't eat healthy at all, and you're looking to find a decent way to start, go to the store and get a bag of clementines, because those things are addictive. I uploaded that video onto my tech YouTube channel of the Canon PowerShot SD1100. The, the sort of point of that video is to, in one way or another, ad reluctantly admit defeat. I don't really want to do camcorder reviews anymore. I like it, but it causes me way too much stress. That, that's always me. I tend to overstress about things, and camcorder reviews was one of those things that I stressed about. The test footage part was not something that I stressed about. In fact, that's usually the easiest part of the video to make, because you just go out to the city and you take videos of things. That's what that channel is going to become for now. 
until I can sort of figure myself out. But I've got a, a number, I have a ton of cameras that I can that I can get video with. And so that should provide for more regular uploads, which I'm very thankful for. So yeah, that pretty much took up the bulk of my day there. So I'm gonna end this video with the fact that I am now sitting at five subscribers on this channel. And if you are an active partaker in this video series for whatever reason, then congratulations, you get the chance to become an even more active partaker in this video series. Basically, all I want you guys to do is ask questions in the comments. It can be personal questions. Um, it can be like advice questions, which I will not give my guarantee that my answer is foolproof. But I think it could be a lot of fun. There's The potential is at least there. So ask questions in the comments and I'll answer them. And I'll try to be goofy and funny and whatever. And hopefully that'll make these videos a little bit less boring. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, right. I'm not allowed to say thanks for watching anymore. So, uh...